Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Fate Grand Order. And today we are taking another slight detour, not not as long as a seasonal event. This is a uh, this is going to be a one part stop to sell for the Blu-ray release campaign of Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. We are going to take on the special trial quest for Fuyuki. And even I don't know who we're stuck with. But we are going up against an assassin. So let's get our best casters in the mix. But we, we gotta we gotta lead in with our golden uh, sage boy. Is uh, Babylonia? At the time of this recording, Babylonia has just premiered like yesterday. I haven't watched it yet. I'm probably gonna wait until. I'm probably gonna wait until all of it's done and then binge it. But as it stands, Babylonia is out and everyone is super excited for it, as they should be. And let me tell you, like, my, my feed has been nothing but gifts of just this man here doing all sorts of. doing hashtag gill things. Hashtag trash things, if I had to put it away. And everybody eats it up! Am I wrong? Those listening, you know who you are. Now let's see, we need one more caster. Why? Keep rattling off my mouth. There we go. Whole caster squad. And you can have. Well, no, it's for assassins. I need a cost five. Okay, hold on. Let me give you this. Let me give you the stealth bear, and then switch. And that. Oh yeah, we don't. We don't need these any. Well, hmm. Arts card by ten percent and NP gain. Okay, that's decent in and of itself. I'm probably going to merge the uh, Moonlight Essences. Okay, so, yeah, you can keep that. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, actually, you both can hold on to it, because you both have triple arts. There we go. And for the uh, occasion, I have dressed up. I'm not wearing the usual Caldea uniform. I have a fragment of 2004. In, in memoriam to those fallen Holy Grail students from the first ever war. Now let's see where this leads. Just ray shifting in, no debriefing, we're just hitting up the place. All systems green. Ray shift is a success. Good, good. Now then, fiend. Let me go over this again. You're in Fuyuki, a rural Japanese city. You're here to investigate the odd reading we got in this area. So see anything? Anything or anyone that seems out of place or that catches your attention in your general vicinity? Mm, let's see. Hmm. Well, she's a looker. There's a woman dressed in Indian attire. Hmm. Ah, good work. Looks like you got it in one. She's definitely the source of the odd reading we got. Looks like she's a servant. But she's no ordinary servant. I'm getting a divine spirit response from her. Oh, -ho. I knew this would be a special case since Shiba interpreted it as irregular when we detected it. But I never, ma never imagined it would be a divine spirit servant. She doesn't seem hostile, but we don't know what's going to happen. Proceed with caution. How do I approach this without coming off as one of those goddamn, whatchamacallit, the, one of those uh, beggars down the streets. 
Uh, can I speak to you for a bit? Uh, yes. What, what is it? Um, I know I've been wandering around the same spot for a while now. So, of course, you think I'm suspicious, but I promise I'm absolutely not a sadie sort! Oh. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but... Are you by chance a master who has formed the contract with a servant? I contract with lots of servants, I'll have you know. Oh, wonderful. Then I don't have to explain all the basics to you. I'm not the least bit shady. I am, get this, a wayward servant who has nothing to hide. Well, thanks for that polite explanation, but it's not just about being polite. She acts like the passive type, but she's got a heck of a stubborn attitude. Despite her appearance, she's almost certainly no pushover. Be careful. That's not nice to Vinci. She was honest about being a wayward servant. And while I know neither her circumstances nor her true name, I'm sure she is a wonderful servant. Oh, are they your friends? It's nice to be in such a lively group. They're transmitting their voices from somewhere across both space and time. Am I correct? Yeah, that's a great interpretation. It's nice to have a divine spirit who's quick on the uptake. You could tell I'm a divine spirit? A goddess servant? Even with my weakened spirit origin. Yes, it's difficult to explain, but we've encountered our share of goddesses, and every one of them has been pretty... distinctive. Oh my, what wonderful encounters! You must have gone through intensive training. I don't know which goddesses you encountered, nor do I know what kind of humans were used as vessels. But since you already understand the basics, I see no reason to hide my identity. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Parvati. I've manifested here using this girl's body as a vessel. She's someone to whom I am attuned to in both body and soul. A pseudo-servant? Yes, it has been something of a confluence of coincidences. Parvati is a famous goddess from Indian myth. She is the divine wife of Shiva and is the embodiment of kindness and grace. She doesn't seem to be a dangerous divine spirit, which is a relief. Yeah, if that woman is really Parvati, you're not in immediate danger. After all, there really aren't any myths about Parvati doing battle. Goddesses tend to be pretty fickle. They just love punishing humans at even the slightest hint of provocation or disrespect. But as long as she is truly Parvati, anything dark- Wait a minute. A goddess whose portfolio includes beauty and gentleness. This is bad. Really bad! Because she's not a goddess of war and beauty, but she's exclusively a goddess of beauty. She's the same, the same as me! Let's just put the Vinci's of antics aside. I'm curious about the individual who became her vessel. Um, excuse me, Miss Parvati. May I ask what has happened to the owner of that body of yours? You're asking about the state of this body's owner. I didn't think you would ask that question so quickly. Mm, she's narrowing her eyes, just like, oh shit, I've been found out. You're bold, though you seem mild-mannered. Or at least you're certainly cautious. You have the Kohai thing going on, and we have similar personalities. How do you know that? I haven't addressed her as such yet. I love my Kohai, but you shouldn't know that. Um, Miss Parvati? Nothing. Were I in your shoes, I would have asked the same question. The original owner of this body is not here. That is, she isn't asleep and she hasn't been destroyed or anything. Being a divine spirit, this is embarrassing to admit, but she and I merged together seamlessly. But merged? Does that mean... The human girl so... Um, embraced the divine spirit of her body, or rather didn't lose to you? Oh, I know. I may not be a god of war, but even so, to be able to re retake control from a divine heroic spirit, I'm speechless myself. This body is... Well, it's basically me now. You know, I'm told I'm gloomy, scary, strong-willed. My memories and behavior are all Parvati, but expressed through her personality. We combine our good aspects and cut away the bad parts in a sort of mutual consensus, creating a new pseudo-servant. The girl's past and memories were sealed when we merged. After all, no human can bear the full weight of a god's mind and memories. But in exchange, my preferences and decision-making were all entrusted to her human nature. This may be hard to understand, but uh, let's see. Are you familiar with the concept of magical girls? Oh no. Oh, did I skip a line? I'm not too far off from that concept, but it's not a temporary state I can't change back from. But were I to do so, I would forget everything as soon as I did. I get it. Hmm. Excuse me, I had to take a sip. <clears throat> I figured we'd be dealing with a divine spirit, but this is a pretty far cry from what we saw in Yurik. 
the thing that's like many, many, many parts into the future from now, hopefully I'll survive long enough to get there in this playthrough. Wish me luck. In that case, it was a goddess using a human as her core, but this seems to be a human using a goddess as her own core. Either way, that girl must have some sort of connection with the Holy Grail and servants. Typically, the human the god's compatible with is just used as a vessel. The god puts a small part of their power into the vessel and kind of forces the way into that person to manifest as a servant. At least, that's how it usually works for a pseudo-servant. You seem to be something of a special case, though. But ultimately, you're not really much different from the other divine spirits in Chaldea. Oh, so there are others like me. That's good to know. I'm not particularly comfortable with excessive fear or worship from those around me. I would very much like for you to interact with me naturally, just like how you treat anyone else. Thank you for your concern, Parvati. By the way... Oh, you can call me Par. My name is kind of a long and... A bit hard to say, don't you think? Okay, I'm a little apprehensive about that, but... Uh, very well, Par. Okay, this is my first time going by nickname. I'm really being quite sociable, aren't I? That makes me happy. The owner of this body and I are both naturally very shy. But by combining the best parts of ourselves, I believe we're better able to speak our mind and not be so timid. We can assert ourselves and see what we like. Just that fact makes this manifestation worth it. So, Par. What's a guys like you doing in a place like this? Oh yes, I forgot. There's no time for me to be standing around here being all happy. Oh, well, simply put, I'm looking for something. I know it's around here somewhere. You mean in Fuyuki during this age? Yes, this city seems to have some sort of connection to my body. And so I thought that if I wanted this place, I would eventually come across it. But this Fuyuki seems to be different from the one my body is familiar with. Embarrassing as it is to admit, I seem to have gotten lost and landed myself in a bit of a bind. Uh, do you need some assistance? Yes, we do have some connection with Fuyuki, and we can provide a bit of backup from here. We may be able to be of some help. Well, if you really want to, then I welcome it, but are you sure you want to help me? We only just met. Hey, we're all good. Oh, what kind-hearted people you are. I must show my appreciation for your generosity. Oh, my apologies, I have yet to learn your names. May I ask what they are? I'm Kidon. So your name is Kidon. Yes, I think that was a wonderful name. Pleased to meet you. And Miss Mash and Miss Genius Da Vinci. So the thing you're looking for, do you have any other clues other than that it's in this city? Um, no. This is more of an instinctual thing. So I think I would know if it were nearby. Then we have no choice but to search the area. Let's map out the area and we'll keep track of where you've covered as you do it. This could take a while, but if you just do it bit by bit, I'm sure we'll find what part it's looking for eventually. Well, wow, and I thought you were the same sort of me, but you take initiative much more than I do, Mash. But that's very promising. Running into you is the best thing that could have happened to me here. I'm so lucky! Now let's get going. I'm counting on everyone! Now remember, stay hydrated. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. By the way, Par, that thing you're carrying, is it a lance? Oh yes, I was wondering the same. Your class is Lancer, right? But I've never heard of Parvati carrying a lance. Oh, you're right. This actually isn't mine. I borrowed it from my husband, Chiba. Ah, that Chiba's tried in Trishula, so that's why you're a Lancer. Since I'm only borrowing it, I can't do nearly as much as it with, with it as Chiba could. And I customized it a little so I could use it easier. It's probably far from what a lance should look like. Well, no, it's probably just not as cool because I'm the one who customized it. I may be a goddess, but I'm kind of a klutz. You're no klutz, you're beautiful! Really, you think so? You speak so much more passionately than I could, you can make me blush! But hearing you say that about me gives me so much confidence! I may not have as much firepower as Shiva, but since I've manifested, that proves that I'm a full fledged lance servant. Hiya! Uh, Teria? It's a, it's a hiya! It's what uh, all martial artists shout. Tract, you're doubting me now, aren't you? I know I'm a beginner at being a lancer, but I'm still a goddess. I may not look cool, but I'm definitely really strong when I fight. Probably. If an enemy comes, I'll just slap, slap, slap them. Like this. I may borrow Shiva's power, but I still plan on doing it my way. By being splendid and graceful. Don't worry, I won't summon any weird shadows or anything. Uh, what does she mean by weird shadows? 
I think she's trying to show that she's strong in her own way. It might be rude of me to say this, but she seems more elegant and cute, really. A goddess will always be a goddess, I suppose. That's why even if we encounter enemies on our way, there's nothing to worry about. You were all kind when I was in a tough spot. Now I swear on my honor as a goddess, I will protect you all! Normally you wouldn't expect much from a goddess like Parvati in Melee. But it's a different story if you consider the mythology surrounding her. If you trace her roots, you'll find quite the warlike. And no wave dashes of the sort. There's top 8 of Big House Melee going on right beside me. On stream, but uh, I'm putting that aside for now. Oh, that's... Hello, I'm here too. Is that Cursed Arm over there? Looks like he's doing something shifty by the road. Par? I'm not sure, but I sense something. He's a bad man. Well, that might be technically true in terms of alignment. I feel that. I need to proceed with extreme caution. This feeling is bubbling up within me. And what should I call it? It's just a vague association, but there's a smell on him that bothers me. It's like this terrible smell of bugs? It's all very instinctual, and I can't express it very well. But anyway, the fact of the matter is that he's an evil man! And a goddess like me simply cannot allow that to stand. <sighs> Hold it right there, suspicious masked man! Oh, are you perhaps addressing me? All well, those weirdo island masks are around. Ah, very true. What business do you have with me? I see a young lady who's been glaring at me for the past few minutes. As I believe that sincere words will reach even those who are evil, I m will ask you this. What are you doing here? What am I doing? Now that I think about it, that is a quite a profound question. How many factors have led me here? I would put it simply. Perhaps it is best to say that I'm disposing of those who are empty, or those who have lost their place. What did you say? <laughs> Sir, I found them! There's a turn over by the river! Oh, so it seems. Let's head over right away, this is very exciting. He even has some mean-looking minions! They have some nerve. I mean, wait a minute! I know that modern world is full of wicked souls, people who have lost their way. But even so, as a goddess, they are all my beloved children. I will not turn a blind eye to the senseless murder of innocence! Stay right where you are, you murdering assassin! It's probably not hard to tell, but I am mad! Ooh, I'm quaking in my boots. Look on Par's face. She's intimidating even for a goddess. Bingo. Parvati is usually described only as Shiva's wife, a goddess who is very mild mannered. But since she is Shiva's wife, Parvati is often identified with his other wife, Durga, who is the goddess of battle. And on top of that, she was also identified as Kali, who was born from the two gods. Long story short, if you get Parvati mad, she's terrifying. This is no time for idle chatter. If you are truly a disciple of justice, you cannot let these evil men walk free! Now come, Kiran, we must give these nasty, bug-smelling murderers divine punishment! I guess we're doing this now. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you, these are all low-level mooks. Oh, damn, she's packing. Ash of comma EX. Starts like, Jesus. Alright then. Let's kick it off with this. And a little this. Let's roll. Sate, Arega. Hey! Yes, Sate, Arega. I should do the other way. Dosta, Nani Castini. I might not have been enough anyway. Oh, oh man, give me a stink eye. I don't like being given stink eye. Stinks. Yes. Actually, let's go bust. 
Oh damn, he has a freaking like a lightning shotgun. Alright, that's a I'm liking that lance, damn. Quick Imaginary around EX. And that's a name, I suppose. So I guess our question of the part. Since this is since this event is celebrating the Blu-ray Blu release of um Fate Stay Night, let me ask. If you're acquainted with other with other series besides Fate, or rather, if you're acquainted with other spin-offs of Fate besides Grand Order, which is your favorite and why? Give you all some uh, food for thought. Hi. Like, I myself... I myself am... It's not hard to guess, but I'm more of a fan of uh, the melty stuff. Because, you know, fighting games are my bread and butter, but... You know, I, I plan on eventually working my way around to... Most all of the fate things. So I'll have to, like... I'll have to be careful about when and where I play the... Uh, the lewd game, you know the one. That's usual brace looks like. That's going in! Flip shit right there. Damn. I see you, Parvati. Now I'm about to see your NP. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a different um different abilities. Shushila Shakti. Fork of death. That was pretty good. Nothing overly flashy, but you know the the ritual type stuff. I don't see a lot of, so I'll give that a uh, some points for originality. Well, now I'm all serious. This uniform means serious business. There's no reason to fight to the death here. I'll just be the bigger man and say you got me. Oh my, you're a lot more accommodating than I expected. So that horrid, filthy set of insects was just something that rubbed off onto you? You must scrub hard to get the smell off, you understood? Well, not really, but man, put your weapons down. Do as this woman says. Damn, what? We just met your our mentor and we were on the verge of bettering ourselves. Say why? I'm going to ask you again. What were you doing here? Can you tell us again? I don't remember lying to you, so my answer has not changed. I'm disposing of that are empty. I'm sorry, can you please clarify without the poetic assassin phrasing? Hmm, so I'm clear, huh? Let me put it in plain terms. We were picking up all the empty bottles and cans people left here. What of it? But you're Hassan! What does that matter? I had some time on my hands, so I'd pick up things that could be recycled. And the sword who collects all the daggers I throw from the battlefield. And this habit has left it somewhat painful for me to see a culture of fast consumption in this age. It could be so terribly wasteful. After a while, the young men who had time and shared in my beliefs gathered here and began to assemble and volunteer their time to assist me. Yeah, our mentor became known for turning our delinquent ways around for the better. 
Hawkmo from the third street even landed his dream job in an IT company. And I'm also gonna start working at this company called Gold Matsumething. Shouldn't judge people by their looks, you know. What matters is leading an honest, hard work in life. Haha, <laughs> indeed. They can save face and regain something of identity. <laughs> I don't know why, but he gets on my nerves. Maybe we had a connection in our past lives. Can I keep talking? Um, right, even if he was judged by his looks, no matter what his past was, our mentor's unwavering spirit to keep going was what attracted us to him. You think too much of me, boy, but a little fight would never hurt anyone. Keep going. But you're still an assassin, correct? Aren't you the bad guy of all bad guys who, under the orders of a bug smelling master, killed both humans and servants? I don't quite know what you mean. Yes, I'm an assassin, a normally evil being. Now I am, first and foremost, the servant of Master. Without being ordered to do so, I would certainly never attack at random. Yeah, about that! And I forgot to mention. Ah. Uh, such a thing is possible! I'm terribly sorry! I'm such a quote in every possible way! Womp 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 womp. These are some wacky misadventures. The misadventures of Kiran and Power. Put that on Blu-ray. Okay, so now we are up against... Let's see, so... We want a rider. Let's run him over with... Say, what the hell are you? There you are. Speaking of goddesses, we'll get another one in the mix. And then for backup, put in a rash. I've actually been training him off screen now. Um, let me see here. of our lower level peeps some love. Actually, uh, in addition to you, I did also... I did enhance Asterios again. Now I just need to get more Berserker materials and ascend him even further beyond. Uh, you don't need this essence though, that's for sure. Let me give you something nice. There we go. That's more like it. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe I did that. I feel just awful. It happens. Master's right, Par. Anyone can make mistakes, you know. Even a son left it off and forgave you. That said, we were all a bit shocked at how mad you got. You too, right? That incredible, if dark, fighting spirit that was practically pouring from you would sure reinforce that you are definitely a god. Oh, no, not to make you mad. Oh, please don't talk about it. All that anger and it was just a misunderstanding. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, well, that's one tiny bit of silver lining. Compared to what happens when I'm really angry, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Fortunately, since I'm a pseudo servant, I am 100% good, wholesome goddess. I won't let that destructive negativity out so easily. Um, are you trying to say that your real anger is even more intense than what we just saw? Meep! Meep! No, you don't have to worry too much. What I mean to say is you will never see my true fury. What I'm looking for isn't around here. Maybe it is that I'm still unused to this since I just manifested. Oh hey, I meant to ask you, why did you manifest in the first place? Does it have to do with what you're looking for? Oh no, what I'm seeking is more of a bonus. Oh well, it's sort of all in my mind. There's a legitimate reason for my manifestation. It's very difficult to put into words, though. But let's see. It feels like there's something that I must do. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, if you manifest as a servant, then you need a master to help you accomplish whatever it is you want to do. 
What do you think? I can very confidently put forward... Okay, I don't know why that paused. As highly recommended master. I agree wholeheartedly. Senpai truly is a reliable master. Right, I completely forgot the servant needs a master. Fiend is, of course, a pure and just individual. Right, it would be best for me to continue receiving Fiend support. Stare. What the hell? You're not getting away! Pink aerial studs are a no-no. That voice? I'm patrolling my territory. That's right, it's me all. What? What are you? Yeah, I was thinking about being called, I suppose. Jaguar Warrior? Why are you here? Who are you, even? Shut up, you perpetrator. This is Jaguar's territory. Power over life and death, love and death, fish or beef. You know that everything hinges on the whims of the mistress of this territory. Me! Teacher, that is such an absurd role. Um, I actually don't know why I called that thing a teacher. It just came out. Of course you did. This jaguar actually stands above all living creatures and being able to all. I'm the ultimate creature of edu- EDUCATION I'm gonna give you a snippet of truth Eating meat makes you super happy and that time is the doorway to your dreams I'm trying to make it sound Nirvana you because an Indian's got it in front of me What do you think? No good? Oh, I see Whatever, I'm being super generous today Take a look at student number EX who also worships me Actually, you just dragged me out of here Why are you calling me student number EX? That's a- wait That's a girl? Um, actually, that girl's even more of a rare case than we are. Maybe you could leave her out? Well, I'm keeping- Well, I gave- I gave them a voice, I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, the gig's back together. I feel like invincible! I've clinched this. Like, this is nuts. Although, I couldn't understand instinctively calling her teacher. But there's something I've never met- I'm one of them met with Master. Ooh, she's so pretty. Anyway, I should politely introduce myself to people when I meet them for the first time. Hello, big sister! Yes. Hello, Ilias Vale. My name is Parvati. Huh? Did I say my name already? The world in this is... <clears throat> oh, goodness. The world in this is based sometime aligned by pure coincidence. Like the light hitting a kaleidoscope to form a distinct and dazzling pattern. Our encounter must be like that kind of miracle. Anyway, I'm glad to see you are well and happy, Il Ilias Vale. Okay. Thanks. Hey, try to step out of my student is forbidden. I've heard enough meow. This jaguar is here to object to what you were talking about. Um, what were we talking about? Got a contract? Sign here on the dotted line. <clears throat> right, that's it. I ask of you. Uh, I've always wanted to see that line. It feels nice. I knew I was the real heroine. Anyway, I ask of you. Are you positive that you want to come to Caldea? Ah, that's what we were talking about. And yes, if I have the chance. Listen, Caldea is no ordinary place. Get this. Caldea has Emia, and Emia, and even another Emia. On top of that, there's even a possibility that more Emias will pop up one day. And before there's an Emia, right before the latest event, Anime NYC. That's going to be the next uh, step on the Fake Grand Order Tour. After New York Comic Con. And there's one more after that. Which the guy playing this may or may not be going to. We don't know yet. Sukavati! Uh, she's not lying. So what do you think? Confused? Yes, very confused. Like your honesty. Now, do you really think the psych of a serious Goai type will be able to withstand the ridiculous hell that is got there? Doesn't that resolve in a ferocious fight is the duty of an educator? Let's go, student number EX. Now's the time to show our senpai powers. Parers. What the fuck? Straight up by having to endure that weird hell for so long. What? So I'm on this side? I don't want to be on your side. I want to fight against Master. You idiot, if you do a good job here, dream of appearing in Bloomers won't have to remain a dream. What? I don't want that either. Are you kidding me? Fine, then how about I help you do your homework for a week? She stopped moving. Try to make an innocent girl to your work by bribing her makes you a terrible teacher. You must be punished! I guess we're doing this now.
The bottom left corner request banner. I actually didn't know that. I might check that out. <clears throat> but yes, as I said before, <clears throat> excuse me. Where, wait, where Jaguar? Where Jaguars? Okay, that's uh, that now I've seen everything. Wow. <clears throat> Had to get another drink there. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. mm. But yes, like I was saying, or as I had that kitten, that cat costume person teacher thing explain in goofy voice. Uh, Anime NYC is going to be the weekend of. Let me put the calendar. I think it's November 15th through the 17th. Yes, and I am highly considering using vacation days from work to attend that. So I don't I don't know if this this is my first time ever announcing something like this, as if I were a big shot YouTuber or something or anything of the sort. But if you're was if you're listening to this and you two are going, by all means, and you'd like to meet me for whatever reason. I highly welcome it. I'm not that interesting a person, I don't think, but we can most certainly do things together. If there's like game demos and the like, or go out and get food, I don't know. Basically what I'm saying is, if you're watching this and on the off chance you're also attending that convention, then by all means, Hopefully, we may or may not come across each other, and I'll say hello, at the very least. I'm also, disp I'm also like, caught in deciding whether or not I'm going cosplaying for that. What I have in mind, I... What I have in mind, I'm probably going to have to wait until my next pay to actually, uh, lock down. Let's see what this data is all about. Wow, cat stand or cat staff and everything. Or spear of weather, how it's supposed to be. I just don't even know. I don't even know. What I do know is that this is gonna hurt a lot. There we go. A nice effectiveness going. Bang bang! Whoa, what the hell was that? Why did her voice sound all non-human? Let's to target again. I'll show you the bigger ones around here. Lord of mercy. Now that's a massive over I've seen one. Lord of Lord of And the recharge on that is actually pretty fast, huh? But to make this hurt, on golf towels, seven colors. 
Let's have a little uh, ride around for Yuki. And the rest of the world at large while we're at it. Thank you, thank you, little star. Three balance servants. Wow. It's the first time I've seen that. What does that mean? They're true neutral? What could just happen? We're both Lancers! This is what happens when we get a four star! The, I guess that means I do my homework on my own. Game, set, and match. Uh, so this is your resolve, huh? You've got true grit. But let me ask you again, and this time I want your final answer. Two girl would be cute with some sakura petals decorating her. Do you really think you'd be happy if you came to Caldea? Yes, I think so. To be happy to make someone else happy, or even to be happy by making someone else happy. I'm sure there are many different methods. But no matter what, as long as I am myself, I know the people around me will be happy. Isn't that what being a goddess is about? So damn wholesome. Got it. If you have that much confidence in yourself, I have nothing more to say. But, but it's just too perfect. Too perfect. It just doesn't feel right. Do you need some? Don't you need some kind of dark side, do you? Ahem. Rest assured, I may have cut away the shadowy parts of myself, but make no mistake, there's no such. Uh, there's no. There's this. But wow, I can't speak. There's such a thing as shadows in the light. I think that the others are well aware that I'm not just the pure good parts of myself. That's why I'm able to somewhat participate in battle, like smacking people. Mm, well, that's not exactly what I meant. Oh crap, I'm all some energy. Farewell, everyone! Look forward to the next exciting installment of Jack World Warrior Show! She just does whatever she wants, doesn't she? She looks an awful lot like someone else I know. I'll check her homework later. Really? Yay! I went with teeth. Snacks at the ready! You really are kind, Senpai. If I didn't have work to do, I would have loved to join. While I do not have homework, I always feel that studying the books in the library is important. I'm sure I would make great progress in my studies if I asked Senpai lots of questions. I'm sure it would be fun. <laughs> my heart! Oh, Kohai! The Dokis! Ah! Thanks to that mysterious jolly animal, we took an unexpected detour. But I have a feeling we're getting close to what I'm seeking. We just have a little more to go. Please bear with me. Alright, this is fun so far. Let's see how it concludes. Oh, is that it? The previous? No? Hmm. Maybe I'm not quite doing it right. In any event. Our last match of the day will be against Pure Riders. So, time to get our assassins. Do we have Cursed Arm? Um, I don't think we do, actually. Hmm. Fancy that. Well, I know who I can get instead. Mr. Jekyll, you are needed at the front. You can come. And well, but a hardy can come. I haven't seen her in a hot minute. And a stair is there for support, but you need this. Could also use something different. That's good enough. Right, 
Let's get in there. There it is! I'm sure that's it! Someone's standing over there. You finally come. Nobody will ever forget that figure! But Master, why are you here? This is... Oh, this is not part of the plan. What are you doing? Those are my clothes! Oh, you found it? You were looking for that school uniform? Yes, it's sort of an object that acts as an anchor to maintain my existence. That Spiritron dress should naturally be in my possession. But for some reason, the moment I manifested, I realized I didn't have it, and that was somewhere else entirely. So I went looking for it by following its scent. And when you sense that someone else is wearing your precious clothes, you would never want to give them up and go on a journey to find them, no matter what. Do you understand that feeling? Um, well... So what is your intention? Well, you see, it is difficult to explain my actions, even for me. After all, what I've done here was motivated by a sort of impulse that bubbled up from somewhere within me. But at least half of my goal is accomplished now. I used this school uniform as a bait to lure you here, Parvati. I see. So it was part of your plan to be found. So what is the other half of your goal? To eliminate you, of course. Gasp. While some may argue otherwise, I would say that I'm doing what I am because we are both goddesses. Oh, I'm fucking... Why am I reading that as Parvati? My bad. Ugh, I'm not certain myself, but my gut tells me there's no need for you to fight if it means you have to use that vessel. And since you've just become a servant, hitting you with a sufficiently powerful spiritual attack may cleave you apart from your vessel. Doing so may entirely negate your existence as a pseudo-servant. So there's no reason for me to not try it. My spirit, of course, compelling you to try. Now please. Please return to the realm of the gods. I have nothing against you personally, but brace yourself! It looks like we can't talk this out. I may not understand your reasoning, but I can see that you were resolved to do this, but... I also have a purpose for being here, so I cannot allow myself to be sent away so easily. So I will defend myself! We are playing the feud! As they say. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm not sure... Why the application suddenly locked in... It didn't... It didn't lock on me, or sorry, it didn't crash per se, but the image itself got locked. And I could still attack and whatnot, but it wouldn't actually uh, let me see what I was choosing afterward. We, we appear to be, I think we're all fine now, but I, I couldn't tell you what the cause of it was to begin with. <laughs> We won't have any more mistakes like that. Oh. Getting triple stacks all around. No death perception here, Missy. I'm not having that. That feels good for you. Just slice him up a bunch. Again, another Vider type servant who isn't on a chariot of some kind. Funny that. So, it's all you, again, Mr. Jekyll. I should have. Smart thing to do. Hi, we can Hold on. Okay. Hi. Please not to get a bridge while we're at it. Hug. 
展開します I think we're good all the same. We're to be taught a lesson, Missy. Chushua <laughs> Shakti. Bring down the mighty thunder! That. Surprised it did not kill him. Oh wait, yes it did. It didn't show overkill, so it might have just been enough. We got an interlude. I don't think I've ever done one of those before. That'll be interesting to make a part around. Has filler in the future. This is the end. Please accept defeat. Uh, you don't look like you're willing to give up. <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. Please allow me to speak to you, though I must make some assumptions to do so. I'm an Indian goddess while you are from the Greek pantheon. Bluntly put, we have nothing in common. That is true. If that doesn't seem to matter to you, and you, it, you are fighting so fiercely to stop me. Is it hard to believe you're doing this just because we are both goddesses? Then the answer is quite clear. You're concerned not about the goddess I am, but the girl whose body I inhabit. Uh, that is a valid point. I simply felt that you should not be fighting Yes, you may be right. The girl and I do have some sort of connection. The reason why you feel I should not fight is because you're concerned for becoming a tainer for a divine spirit. Being overprotective can sometimes backfire, Ryder. Mm. But don't get me wrong. I'm not quite sure why, but something within me compelled me to refer to you that way, by the name of your class. But I have absolutely no memory of you. After all, I am Parvati right now, however. Neither I nor this body of mine feel any anger towards you for what you've done here. In truth, we are happy about it. So, you don't intend to stop the manifestation? No, this is a part of my duty. I have been entrusted with a mission. I must deal with my own mess. Well, it's my own fault for making a certain sacrifice. No matter the path I take, I'm certain it will lead me to save the world as a goddess. Even if it means I must sacrifice my life, I will protect the world and the people that I love. And the girl shared my wish to be such a being. It is the wish we shared that allowed me to manifest here. At least that's what I believe. Surely you must know that the girl possesses a strong heart. Yes, you're right. If your existence here is the result of her resolve, all I did was gain her way and overstep my boundaries in doing so. You didn't overstep anything. As I said, the thought behind your actions made us happy, truly. But there are things that even we cannot give up. That is all I wanted to say. Ah, you are absolutely right. She may look weak and cowardly, but she really was strong-willed. I'd forgotten that you were that kind of person. Please allow me to apologize for my actions and these clothes. Here, I'll return them to the rightful owner. Thank you very much. This is a relief. Looks like everything has been settled peacefully, senpai. Yep, yep. Uh, par! You're not doing what I think you're doing, are you? Oh. Oh! Oh no! Oh my. I'm a bit strained now that everything is over. Now that I've recovered what I sought, it seems like a good place to take a rest. Please rest assured, now that we have met once and forged a bond, so long as we retain that connection, we are sure to meet again. Yes, in due time. I'm sure I will become your servant. When that happens, I will work my hardest, so please take good care of me. It's okay, Ryder. 
My shyness will never completely go away, but I've gotten tougher. If the relationships between those in Caldea are as complicated as that odd animal said, I'll be... Well, I'm sure I'll be fine. Is something else bothering you? Oh, I get it. You've come to like this school uniform too, haven't you, Ryder? Oh, alright. Even though it was originally mine. Those who have only seen you wearing this uniform might think God has assaulted you and stole your clothes. It might be best to consider making a duplicate of the uniform just for you. Oh, it would be so wonderful for the two of us to wear matching uniforms and become servants together! Well, she was the cause of a singularity, I suppose. I'm sorry, Master. This has turned into something of an anticlimactic farewell. But that is another side of the girl, or so I feel. She could be a little ditzy. <clears throat> we'll meet again. Eventually. I might not summon her, but I'm sure we'll see her. Master, I know that within you there's no need to bring this up, but I will say it just the same. Senpai. Senpai, Medusa's giving you a really terrifying glare, and she's not even using her mystic eyes! Yes. Even if you do manage to summon her, you must vow to not treat her like a disposable pawn or put her in unnecessarily dangerous situations. I'm not asking for you to give her special treatment. I'm only saying that you should treat her as well as the rest of your servants and take good care of her. Understood? Understood. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> good boy. Now let us head back. I wonder why I'm feeling so restless. Perhaps we should prepare by cleaning the room next to mine. Par somewhat special, even unique among pseudo-servants. And not just a Medusa, but perhaps many others in Caldea who would feel the same way when they see her. That's something to look forward to, for better or worse. That's the spirit, Master! Hope to one day have an outlook as positive as yours. Either way, our quest here is done now. Good work! Well, I got a little real at the end there. A little solemn. For our troubles, we got ourselves a singular summoning ticket, which I will now use to summon here on this. The Fate Grand, not Grand, uh, Stay Night uh, Blu-ray release banner. Heaven's Feel Butterfly Pickup. Let's do ourselves a cinnamon. Oh, look, there's Medusa. <laughs> oh, God, she's staring at me from afar, telling you, you better not fuck up. I'll kill you. Oh, she do it, too. I have no doubt in my mind. Let's get us that ticket. Survey says... Uh, give me money. Give me money! It's gonna be a ruined church. Oh, well. When in Rome, as they say. When in Rome, next time, we will be going back on to the main story quest and helping... Nero reclaim her grand capital kingdom, or excuse me, her kingdom capital. I don't know why I mixed it up. I'm being silly right now. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Sonic Fiend, and have a great day, everybody.